and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is part three. Fee, you gotta see this. <laughs> Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. Hmm. I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. Who'd have thought? We haven't even gone that far, and it all feels a million miles away. It puts things in perspective. Everything that we've gone through, it all seems so small from up here. Yeah, it does. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? No. Or are we just... Winging it. Again. Yeah, we wing it. <laughs> of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me, is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? I ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Warning! Brain collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Hey! Looks like we've got another dead bad guy! Henderson. Impact detected. Bomb center of rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. So, this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right! Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty! Now turn them other rockets up to 11! still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? 
They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. Everyone stay calm. We got this. Ah, there's a the girl I fell in love with. What? Huh? Huh? What? Don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of it, yeah, but yourself, but I'll be walking you through it, though. This is how I die. I knew it. Come on, I don't want to die. Okay, I'm here. All right, now see that panel there that keeps opening and shutting? The uh, dangerous looking one? Yeah, that's it. Now there's a yellow button in there that you gotta push. That's step one. Right. The button wedged all the way in the back. Oh, you got it? All right. No! What? <laughs> when you press it, you gotta pull your arm out real quick because it's gonna clamp down something fierce. You got me? Be careful. You're almost there. <clears throat> Left rocket stable, Fiona. All right. Now pull the last to detach that sucker while we still can. Every guy wants to say. <laughs> Can't do step two without step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Be so lucky. I wish... I wish we had... 
had more time together. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! Scooter, I'm so, so sorry. Alright, y'all. It's probably the end, but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell him. I did some awesome shit, okay? It's been real. I'm sorry. That was the first casualty of the mission. Him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. Space Cowboy. I know what it is like to lose someone you care about. The worst part is... Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, um, if that's not it, um, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chilling in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got 
got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Well, now, if it isn't Cockknock and Tweedledick, how's about you get out of my way and let me go do my job? I really hope I get an excuse to kill you. Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Oh. And what's that thing you launched, Reed? Something about anime? Well, I hope for your sake that wasn't a doll satellite. You see, we blow that shit out of the sky. Which is what we're gonna do to you if you don't tell us the truth. So, what were you doing down there? I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Hmm. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... On my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Ebatch, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Because you lost a critical Hyperion asset. You're not even a little sad? I thought you were close. That's none of your business. You and I had a deal. But he was your friend. If you think you can distract me, think again. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Fine, I'm sure they'll also want to hear about the $10 million you embezzled with your friends. That's right. I've got eyes and ears everywhere. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you do. This is far from over. Ouch. So Vasquez made a deal with everybody. More than just Reese and Vaughn and everyone else. <sighs> Standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. All right, all right, you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace now. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I wrote the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jack, hack, Jack, coming at you! 
baby. And we freaking rule. And that is not the royal we this time. Uh huh. Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. It's Captain Tweedle Dickweed. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us. And we're out of time.